Hello everybody, welcome to CCL round of 16 match between Paravale and his Proels and Tachyon Speed. Blessed be the Berts, Slayer of Gadernik. And somebody else. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> um, Paravale has got a pretty nice team. A couple of guards, three guards in fact. A load of blood step and uh, wrestle, dodge, tackle, even a DP. 14 proels. Pretty nice. And Tachyon Speed has a wizard and uh, a strength up, an edge up, a couple of guards, three DPs. 15 players total. Oh yeah, like I, I'm, you know, I, I don't know. But yeah, it was it was the combination of the fact it was Gadenik and Gadenik's team, right? Like Gadenik's team was insane. So yeah, that was incredible, incredible win for Taki on speed. Uh, Kill Bill, Kill Bill is who he beat in the second round. Mm, Kill Bill's humans. So he's been outclassed in teams in all three rounds. Will he be able to win again? Oh, he failed the pickup but caught the scatter. Well, that was a, a bit of luck, wasn't it? Because he could have lost instantly if that had just scattered out. Well, there is no edge five. So, oh, but he, <laughs> he's got the sidestep to go back there at least, which makes it a little bit harder. Oh, man, the leap. The leap, the pickup. Wow. Wow. I mean he's got he's he's got nowhere to go with it, but he can maybe screen it, yeah. Oh he's not screening with that one. Wouldn't you put him here and then try and get the other one over? I guess he can't get somebody around there as well. He could have tried. Could have dodged in, oh, that's pretty hard though, and then out, and then yeah, it was, I guess to be fair, this is maybe correct. Correct! Because yeah, even if you screen here, he just runs around, doesn't he? Oh wow, instant bolt. Good, I like that, I like that. Uh, there's some people will get in a horrendous situation and, you know, hold on to their whiz. I like, I like the panic whiz, if you like, because, you know things are looking terrible you've got to make them look less terrible I think before they become irrecoverable so um, yep I like that I like that from tacky on speed that's a good point corner yeah that's a good point but particularly Ganin's team was incredible and Peraville's team looks pretty good even though it's pro elves they're still elves aren't they that's the thing One D. Juan Dice. Of course, he's going to have to make some risque moves. Oh. Well, there's a hit on the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Will Paravale see it? Will he just take it with one D? Nope, he's going in with two dice. A novelty. Oh, he's going for the leap though. To get tackle on the hip. I mean, that did make it riskier, but like more chance of payoff probably overall. Maybe not, because there's less chance of having the reroll on the hip. It's probably better. It's probably it's probably more odds of getting it down. Oh, it's Rackle as well. Oh, yeah. Okay, really tempting with Rackle. Really tempting with Rackle. <laughs> Could have taken the more conservative line of just hitting with a free guy. But obviously much less likely to knock over, so it's fair to go for the leap there. Oof. Some bad dice for Tacky on speed. But there is a there is a lovely juicy foul target now. And he's got the DP there. I mean he's probably gonna have to foul this one, to be fair. I just realised that with this guy's armor wasn't broken. So yep. Fouls him. Instant remover. 
There's only the uh, wizard was the only inducement, no bribes or anything. Oh, lovely Kaz. Mr. Thraw, get out of it. <laughs> oh, no. Did he apple it just because it's Mr. Thraw? If he did, I'm not sure it was correct. But no, it was, it was a badly hurt, so it's guaranteed work, doesn't it? And it's a blodger with leader, so it's a reasonable apple target. It's not... You know, it is just a lineman, but it's a decent lineman, isn't it? I don't, I don't hate it. Not what I would have done, of course, because I wouldn't have been playing Pro Elves, but hey. <laughs> oh, the double skulls. Does put in the reroll. Choose to keep him in combat, giving away that hit. Dangerous. It's like a Thomas T. sidestep, it's a pair of ale push. <laughs> it could just be a misclick like I did the other day. Well, not the other day, today. Could just be a misclick. Gives him the free assist, so he does still use the blitz to hit it. And KOs him. Lovely. Very scary as well, of course, without the wizard. Without the wizard, without the apple. <laughs> Fuck on him, but. Dice hacks? <laughs> and he gets the he gets the lovely cage. Doesn't really need garden it now because the uh, the leaping rackler is off the field. Very annoying sucker. Makes the four plus dodge to foul the tackle. Lodge step blitzer. Not diced again. Not sure about the blitz there, wasn't that? Just couldn't he just block him? Maybe he needs the players. Yeah, he probably does need the players, doesn't he? Looking at this, he stretched a bit thin. Obviously, has to make these two hits. <sighs> Oof. A rear stinger that knockdown, not what he wanted. Compromised the defense a little bit and opens up to a foul potentially. Will we see the double GFI foul? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'd love to see the double foul, double GFI foul here. The problem is, if he does it now, it opens him to chaining this guy off. So he'd have to reinforce this cage corner if he does it, which is exactly what he's done. So maybe he is doing it. I mean, they can't afford to actively base on offense, really, can they? Because they've got to protect the ball. And score, like, he, he didn't get the T off them. He'll base them on defense. Does do the double GFI. Lovely. Lovely. Diced. Diced again. Just the wizard. A game of vision. I was diced. I really like that double GFI foul, honestly. I really like that, so... Tragedy. I mean, it had to be a gym foul, I guess. I approved the foul, so it had to be a, a gym result as well, I guess. Sorry, Tacky on speed. My bad. <laughs> God. Fears pound are much better. <laughs> Ah, this bloodstep diamond tackle, a real pain in the ass. Pain in the ass. Oh, he's going to chain 
He's going to blitz here to chain him on to make the block. Lovely. No, nope, that's not what he's going to do. He's going to chain him into a sidestep. Oh, well, I really like the idea of chaining the mighty blow tackle on there to block him. That's not what happened, though. <laughs> Maybe. Like, I really like that chain. But, you know, maybe he just didn't like the chain. Do you shoot a chain gash? He is going forwards. Like, maybe he just wanted to punch him and then he gets tackled on all these three. I don't know. Like, you know, the, the end of the turn looks quite nice, doesn't it? The, the, what he's done, so... I guess it was intentional, yeah. There you go. Pretty nice. Gets it, it gets these elves totally surrounded. Oh. Old dough ball, don't say it, Steve. <laughs> oh, the 1D, the Paravale Blitz. He did have a wrestle though. Could have used a reroll there, like he's not gonna get any better. <laughs> hey, come on. Way. Man, all the sidestep. Luckily for tacky on speed, he does have the edge, so even if, you know, he's not able to extricate himself properly, at least he should have some reasonable shot to score in the end. He can't score now, he can't give the pros a two turn though. It's just not possible. He's got the power there to freed him, wouldn't he? He can't score, like he literally can't. Good. Has to do the GFI. He hears two. Maybe he didn't. Yeah, probably had to. And just because he got sized up on the ball, maybe he didn't have to. But he probably did because there's a guard there and it'd be an instant 2D with Russell. Oh. Oh, running through, gets the one to get the bow! Oh my god. What a fucking dice lord. I catch his X and there's a steal. Wow. And he's got sidestep and guard on the guy who can hit him. Wow. Uh. This is a bit of a pickle for Tachyon Speed. Oh my god, there's the scoring threat as well. Oh god, do you just blitz the scoring threat? I guess is the question. Looks like he's thinking about it. No, it doesn't free up the uh, doesn't free up the peasant. If he'd freed up the peasant, he could have just gone back and done that. But I guess he's still going to try and score himself. Get the pow. In the crowd, this was the danger. So he can he can get like the edge four in the end zone and then lob it to him with this wrestler. The first notch rustler. Oh. God, stupid thing. Makes the pass. Gets the catch. Four. Wow. What a dice lord. What a dice lord. <laughs> the score threat was a bit greedy, but, you know, I, I think it's kind of fair enough there. I think that was, I mean, it was kind of reasonable. I didn't hate it. Like, he had to get, he had to power him in that, didn't he?
He could, but I mean, he still had to roll quite a lot to score there, didn't he? So it's, uh, you know, that kind of greed is is part of Proils, isn't it? Particularly because, like, you're on a clock of your team dying and everything. So, like, it's much better to score on his drive than just stop him, isn't it? <laughs> I know that sounds a stupid thing to say. Michael Owen level of analysis, but it is because it's so much better to score on his drive than to go out and nil nil. Yeah, like I would have considered going back and just blitzing the scoring threat because I didn't like my chances of getting the ball, whereas obviously Tachyon Speed did and got it. So yeah, I quite like the scoring threat. I kick. Oh, three sidesteppers. Did have a movement eight sidestep. This wasn't easy though, was it? <laughs> Big Hammers is killed. <laughs> <laughs> Big hammers. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know why hammers fucking tickles me so much, but it does. Perfect. Jim Fowl doesn't even break AV. Who knew fouling on turn 8 could be bad sometimes? Yes, almost always. Hello, Squire L dude. Seemed like the right time for me to pop in. Bad <laughs> foul. Criticize somebody glorious. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was that was a really I didn't like the foul, yeah. But I mean I guess he's got the reserves right, so but the thing is it is it is still overtime is almost certainly his best case scenario. It's so, OT, you're the foul the player comes back so often, like you have to get a casualty, you lose your player so often, like the math on it's probably just terrible. Like as the guy who did the fouling calculator, the math on it's gotta be just awful. <laughs> yeah. But you thought a bribe. If it's nil nil Making it is yeah. fine, right? Because you've got the reserves, mm -hmm. and there's only one more drive. But now that now you're playing for overtime, that is that is the only way you yeah. win this game as Paravale. So yeah, for that reason. And also, it's a small thing, but that was a dirty player, wasn't it? It was, yep. So now he doesn't have a dirty player for the next eight turns. Mm -hmm. He gets an advantage. But so it was the strength. It, it was the plus strength blitzer though, and that mm -hmm. is a fucking great player. So that is a that is a good counterpoint from Core Knight. Yeah, there's a great upside to it, I suppose. Mm. Did the birds still have their Apo though, right? Uh, no, I believe they used it. No, they do. Paraville used his. Yeah. yeah so then. Oof. Yeah, if they still have their Apo, then it's it can't be good. Oh, that was a that was a mistake from Paraville there, wasn't it? That this this catch, like it's his it's yeah. his offensive drive. He, there was no need to set him up blitzable off a blitz, you know, although obviously... Yeah, the there's a lineman could be there. Yep, yeah, one. there's a lineman in the middle that could be there. Yep. Yep. He'd be kicking himself instantly, I'm sure. Yeah, that was... that was a big mistake. Instant full punish. Birds maybe a little weak on the right side here. They are, yes. Very much weaker, aren't they, than that? On the left, but Perivale has no interest in bursting through. He wants to daka, yeah. daka, daka. Here we go again. Hey, my defense on offense. <laughs> it's so good. And he's got he's got the thrower with it, so he can he can even maybe do some kind of throw. You know, it's a shame. The first half was a wonderful half of Blood Bowl. Just not pretty nonsense, then more nonsense at the end. Just complete dice to try and get it in after crazy dice. It was great. Very Blood Bowl half. And now we're like, alright, 
Enough of that. Time to play defense. <laughs> for two teams. <laughs> Call Hot Wheels. <laughs> then it becomes the half dacker core knight, and I do not like the half dacker so much. Correct. It's a quarter dacker. <laughs> yeah, a third dacker. <laughs> but yes, yeah, get, let, let, dackering and letting letting your opponent mighty blow tackle the guard. Whoever piece. he wants. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe hmm. maybe that's why the diving tackle is there. It's like no no he's closer. Hit the hit the diving tackle guy. Come on, <laughs> come on, <laughs> come on. Um, no, Mister Yemadem, you can pay me though. <laughs> you, you can pay me and I'll make it happen. <laughs> yeah, paying the players will seem a more direct way because players are great at finding ways to die. <laughs> so I mean, obviously GMs can always just have rocks fall. But mm. I was really tempted always an option. I was really tempted to fireball Jack Ball. <laughs> really tempted. In real life or the game? In the game. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's much less exciting. Mm. I mean, if if I could if I could cast fireballs in real life, I wouldn't be streaming on Twitch, would I? <laughs> I mean, you might still be doing. You just want to be playing Blood Bowl. <laughs> no, I'd be streaming me. I'd be streaming myself incinerating people. <laughs> <laughs> um, we are level five game of vision, apparently. I might even learn the rules at some stage. Imagine that. Learning the rules isn't that important, but for players anyway, just need to know how your character works and everything else is fine. Yeah, but I'd, I'd like to just for me. I know, you're a, uh, you're a honer, you're someone who likes to practice and learn things. Yeah. To like get them right. I like to know things. Yeah. I want to find everyone Never play fighting games in real life and <laughs> beat them <laughs> no, I'm shit at fighting games. fucking life. Same here. I just button mash and that's good enough for me. Just a fun, just a fun thing. It's okay to be shit and have fun sometimes, isn't it? I'm not sure about that, but we can we can test that theory. <laughs> it is. It's it is. It is okay to be shit sometimes. At least I never put in the effort to be good. You know, like I, I recognise that I'm shit at them and uh, yeah, don't want no, to it's definitely one of those things where. Uh, I said you're like maybe I'll be good at video games, and you see people who are good at video games, and you're like, you know what? I don't, I don't want to put in that much work, and I'll never be that good anyway. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh. yeah, double whammy. Here we go. We're going for a foul. Sure looks like it. No dirty player. No problem. It's a pretty good three assist mm -hmm. foul. Three assists on a blotched up that you want to remove. Mm -hmm. With overtime looking likely as well, so again that adds more mm -hmm. value to the foul. Yeah. And also, if still on the left side is also pretty good, just for the Please drive. The team really just can't sessions go that way at all ever again. What it needs to play P &P. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Yemendem. I'm not sure if 500 bits will be enough for us to have the whole party die. But I'm also not sure what the second half of that sentence means. Um, no. So that the eye can reflect what it needs to play P and P. <laughs> I think it's they can <laughs> reflect what it means to play D and D. Ah, not a P and P loan. Got it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I was hoping the thy was like we were already getting in character. <laughs> what canst thou do? <laughs> ah, pen and paper. Pen and paper, idiot. Wow. Wow. I'm sorry, I'm not German, so we call them tabletop games here, while everyone else over there calls them pen and paper. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, Mr. German man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I did know they called it pen and paper in Germany, but <laughs> also, sorry that I'm not a massive D&D &D nerd. God. <laughs> an idiot. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a massive D&D &D nerd. I wasn't looking up <laughs> Criminal syndicate loan interest rates for D and D prep earlier today. I would never do that. 
I want to build a spreadsheet out so that when my players inevitably take their time, I can give them new interest rates five days later and continue altering the deal. <laughs> Amazing. You don't need to look up, like, criminal interest rates. You can just look up, like, uh, you know, what's it, fucking... Whatever the fucking things are called in England, the one, the ones that sponsored, uh, the ones that sponsored Newcastle, and you can look them up. The answer, by the way, is like one hundred to three hundred percent. It's a pretty good number, somewhere in that range. So actually better than actually better than a lot of uh, real life companies. One hundred three percent with daily compounding interest. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Imagine that. Looks like all characters in your session are chaotic evil and have an IQ of 5. But that, that's fair. That's fair, Mr. Yemendem. Yep. That's fair. Uh, I mean, I'm... You could, say, you could say it about the players, all... not just the characters. <laughs> My all all D&D characters have IQs of 5. Every <laughs> single one. It doesn't matter how smart they are. They can be intelligent of 20, they have an IQ of 5. Because they will forget, oh yeah, I did cast Fireball into the gasoline tank. Why is this lighting on fire? Oops. <laughs> Go on. So he blitzes. So, so so somehow during this game that's happened for the last four turns. I mean, it's a dagger, so it's not super interesting, is it? Um, Perivale did send a receiving threat who got nailed by mighty blow, and uh, the Berta holding the line, and not with the sidestep. Funny enough, the sidestep, but not holding the edge. But Perivale not going for the edge, going for the. Undefended space at the side, a little bit, just a little bit of a probe. Yeah, I like the tackler being back. I wish the tackler was a bit more, was staying parallel to the ball a little bit better. But um, it's nice having. That's the good player to have as a safety, probably. Mm. <laughs> Indeed. Maybe we'd want a agility five or agility four to be back there too, but probes don't want too much. But they are firing them before. Well, that's because you're a big meanie, Mr. Yemenden. Oh, we're going for the foul on this strength four again. Oh, my God. Well, it, well, it pays off, but obviously the apple's going to come out here. Has to. Yep, instant Has apple. To. It's fair enough, because it is hard to get the ball off him. But, um, you know, he carried on the edge four, and, like, he... Yeah. He scored without the edge for Bludger. I remember Perivale like really panicking when he's playing like somebody hit with Bert about a strength five Bert and he's like, I just can't get the ball off him, so mm. he's probably thinking along the same lines with his strength strength four. So. I can Yeah, the it's you know, it's the paradox or the complicated issues in there, right? Because the, the strength four is harder to get the ball off of, but agility four just means if you don't get the ball off they just roll dice and they score every yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty good physics. That was pretty good. <laughs> that was the highlight of the session, wasn't it? <laughs> oh. Maybe overreacting to scoring throughout, but I guess you are up 1-0, so you're trying to maybe... You wouldn't mind it not going to OT, especially because you're the worst team and you've already lost your inducement to just try and get it to 1-0. Yeah, another player over here is better, but I don't know if he could have got another player over here. Mm. So if you can't get one over there, then I guess, you know, if there's nowhere else for them to go, then surrounding him isn't that bad. How many elves are dead? Two elves, no, yeah, two elves and one sent off. No, one elf and two sent off. So three of the, two of the three dead elves were killed by Paravale, essentially. <laughs> To Mr. Yemenden's comment about who to let players die five times already, you know, I would let more players die if I didn't know it would take them three hours to roll up a new character and have to coach them through all of that. If it wasn't for the pain of drawing up new characters, I would kill players way more often. <laughs> but I know that group, and I know my players, and I know how long it would take them to just pick anything. It wouldn't take us three hours, <laughs> it'd take us three fucking years. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it looks like they've only got two sidesteppers left. No, no, three. Yes, they've got three sidesteppers. I'd also just doubt the Bert's ability to win by it with the one turn, besides. The yeah. Bert's are slightly better than you might expect, but they're still just movement seven. Yeah, I'd, 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 yeah I, wouldn't be, I wouldn't be concerned about a Bert one turn. 
completely unconcerned. That's a weird blitz target. It's a high-value player, but it's positionally kind of awkward. Yeah. So now the tackler is kind of stuck, and not... I don't know, I probably would rather hit the guy at the top there, and keep the tackler not based. Yes, I think this is the more obvious blitz. However, you know, you're almost certainly not going to stop the touchdown at this stage. So, yeah. you know, going for the high value one is, is 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 totally legit. And you are putting tackle on the ball, which is all right, isn't it? Like, it's not the worst thing ever. Like, as you're basically playing for overtime as well. But yeah, there is only two turns, and maybe he maybe should have hit that guy. I mean, this looks pretty good, though, eh? Elves worked out fine, Cornite. Such out cheating. Fine. So cheating to have Elves with the guard. Yep. Oh. He goes for the handoff. He wh wimped out of the extra GFI. <laughs> and he's just having to eye cage it. Yikes. Oh. That seems pretty bad. Oh, just make a four plus. Never mind. You're fine. Just make the four plus. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does love an eye cage as well. Nope. He's gonna block with a guard to get the guard in. Like it? Yep. Is there a way? I guess there's not a way to clear the path down to get the tackler into for the hit. No, there's just, just not a way to do that. There's one square too. Far. I was thinking maybe like the <clears throat> if the wrestler could take a one D if he had sidestepped the wrong way, you could have got in there by going up under. But yeah. no, I, no, I can't. I'm surprised he didn't hit with a sidestep, but I guess that. Could oh, be we're doing it the we're doing it with wrestle, I guess. Okay. Yeah, high rods again, like high rods and knocking down, but. I think I would have rather just had the chance yeah. earlier. But then that's the thing, isn't it? It's six and two threes in a way. And this way you also have two side steps on the ball and he has to blitz through one of them. Or he can just go back and hand off to this guy. Mm -hmm. uh, GFI. <laughs> Fucking elves, man. Having movement aid. They look so. They look like they're cheating so bad, like in strength three teams like birds and humans. It's just it's such a joke. Yeah. So, they still got 11 men? The elves? Yep. They do. They're down a guard sidestep, which is quite good, but they still have two of their guard. Mm. And the they do put size up on, I don't know. That's do you need to put size up on the LOS here? Do you have to no, do it? No, first? I would not. I would not. I would not personally. Yeah. But you know, I don't really like defending excessively versus one turns. Yeah. Um, I guess movement eight sidestep is when I'd start putting three sidesteps on the LOS. Mm -hmm. But you know, maybe maybe usually, that shouldn't. Yeah, usually three stand firm is easier just because. They're usually armor value nine, and you're kind of spamming that if you have enough of it. But yeah, yeah three sides always feels a bit riskier until it skinks and you just don't care anymore. Yeah, or well, move it at five. So move it at five, or move it at four and sidestep. It's probably wide. Is when I'd commit to defending. Move eight frenzy sometimes as well, like uh, necro maybe. But necro are terrifying because they can get those removals. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably think fuck it versus necro as well. Which, you know, I've nearly been punished before, but it is very unlikely. You've got to roll a lot of dice. And obviously, he's not even trying the one turn here. But he is getting a 3D with Mighty Blow Tackle mm -hmm. on a Blood Step Garda. And he might foul him as well. I think fouling is correct. See, does he have spares? He's got he's, no. Well, maybe he's got this peasant off. They might come back, but that's his twelfth man. He does have a rookie peasant. 
Yeah. Like it's it might such be a good the player. It's, it's probably yeah. worth it. It's probably worth it. Doing it. He's I doing mean, it because he stood there. <laughs> with that many assists too. Yeah. And uh, unlike Reddit or other places of bad advice, we won't tell you that having dirty player would have made this worse because it would increase his chance of getting sent off because the foul might have worked better. <laughs> oh wow! And there you go. There is a great foul. Great decision. <laughs> Gonna be yeah, very favorable. Is uh, you have to uh, roll well. Once you decide you're gonna roll well, then you can really evaluate the fouling odds. Indeed, yep. It's an important step. Who's gonna win? The Burts, probably. <laughs> Not guaranteed, but I think big favorite whoever wins the toss here. I think would be a big favorite. You know, even though even though the the elves are on ten and are down two guarders, I've still really fancied them on quick scoring. Mm -hmm. Now birds might take a little bit longer because they you know, but they can afford to like you know they can be safe, can't they? They are the bashier team and uh... they're up a reroll as well, which helps. Mm. Um, they definitely have fewer good players, and their offense is a bit more of an adventure than the elves was. But yeah, they're no longer at a guard disadvantage, which. What a thing to be going into a game against elves with yes. in your head. Yeah. So I'm outguarded, outstrength, and have less speed and agility. All right. Let's see if we can pull this one out. <laughs> they did have more wrestle law <laughs> and more DP. And, uh... Hey, and the most important defensive skill. They've got more fend. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. The fend was critical. <laughs> Not. <laughs> But the Mighty Blow Tackle made a big difference, didn't it? it, it being able to hit with Mighty Blow yeah. Tackle every turn was very, very good. And yeah, Paravel could have definitely done a better job of protecting his better players from said Mighty Blow Tackle and fouls. Yeah. And he is going to try, attempt to carry on the Strength 4. It's a big kickoff event. Mm. They all getting a reroll there. Yep. They can. They have. They basically have one they can use around. They have a bit more fungible, as opposed to the one which you'd have to sit on for basically five turns. Mm. Fend is one half of the counter to piling on. Wait, what's the other half? Uh, blood step. Blood step's the other half of that. You <laughs> need those three skills and then fend. Oh yeah, wrestle. Yeah, that's what. Uh, that's. Yeah. What... That's what Gallic Star Scraper said. You just need to utilize the new skills, wrestling fend. <laughs> when uh, when some some German guy, I can't remember his name, uh, said, you know, these are the stats for piling on. It's ludicrous. You're an idiot. <laughs> he said he said it. He said it nicer than that. But you know mm -hmm. that's what he meant. And uh, and then Gallic was like, no, you just need to use the new skills. It doesn't matter about the odds of getting instantly cast on every fucking block. Anyway, I'm not bitter and twisted, of course. <laughs> oh. Well, at least we've gone to a new world where not much has changed, except attrition's worse. Yeah. And fouls are better. All right. Yeah. I'm, Brand I'm new Blood Bowl. For, I'm looking forward to Blood Bowl 3, to be honest. It'll uh, be a slightly different game. Yeah. And I'm sure all the experienced coaches are happy that they will get to play people who are new again. <laughs> the most fun time when they don't, they can just win without thinking. <laughs> but there's no Amazon, so it won't be that easy to win without thinking. <laughs> uh, don't worry, Jim, there's still dwarves and orcs. Oh yeah, orcs, it's only orcs. Sea of orcs. Oh, I can... And and you can you can just buy more. I guess I don't know how they're gonna do inducements in the game. Yeah, that's a good point. I wonder. I wonder if Cyanide's one's like, no, no, we're gonna do it the way we did in Blood Bowl two, because that's how they changed the rules too, basically. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Subscribe to my own orcs. Sea of Tents. I, I should call it. I should have an orc team called Sea of Tents. Be very good. And little Battle Brothers <laughs> reference. Uh, I thought it 
But tense means something different in most political contexts, so I was touching and views as how that related to orcs. It does, yes, but tense as in camps, foul-smelling tents, actual tents where, you know, all armies camp in. <laughs> a, sea of, uh, a sea of tents, uh, like past tense and future tense would also be Way. an interesting gimmick. <laughs> yes. No, tents! Not tentacles, though. Oh, actually. Wait a minute. Shut the shell face, you won't find this tent anywhere else! <laughs> there you go. Oh, wow. An AV break. Nothing. Good thing he had found. Yeah, thank God he had found. Yeah, now in two turns, when the elves are still basing him, he can get up. Yeah. Um, was that a good reroll? I mean, he dubbed Skulled, probably. Like, you don't want to lose. Like, though I don't think putting four players in a 2 by 3 square is a good idea on defense. I feel like using the reroll to then hit over here and have some defense here would have been a good idea. I don't think using the reroll to yeah. then abandon your defense was a good idea. Yeah, the issue isn't the reroll. Rerolling that turn on a dub Skulls is probably fine. It's rerolling to make your defense worse. Yeah. But I mean, I guess the breaths are fine. They'll just take a attrition block. Yeah, which I guess they need to do else because they need to free up that player, but still. Yeah, you got away with it because this this one didn't power. If this guy being powered, it's basically GG at that point. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I like blocking before I like taking the hit. Mm -hmm. Or I don't like fouling before taking that hit on the... Is it blood step on the right there? Is that why we're not taking that hit? Yes, that's yeah. blood step. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I need to get it now. Hello, cat. Big stun. Big turn here for now. Lots of contact, I imagine, from Paravale here. This is going to be the, the Thomas T turn. <laughs> or Chunter turn, if you like. But, you know, Paravale probably won't roll mm. as well as Chunter. <laughs> 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 Somewhere between that can be our that can be the scale now the Thomas T Paravale and Shunter scale. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hello, and see, it is, it is, it is still looking like a win for the birds, but it's getting a bit tricky now. There's a lot of, uh, you know, they still got the ball, but it, there's a lot. A stun down, the mighty low tackle stun. There's a lot of contact. It's it's getting a bit scary for them. He has he has rolled a push. So that helps. The power is he going to go? Is he going to go here? He could. He could blitz the throne and go. No, he's not. It'd be rowdy, but you know he could have done. Oh, there's a tackle there. That one made it a lot worse. Yeah. So okay. He yeah. He was never going to go past the tackle. If that wasn't tackle, he could have just tried going, going through. Because that this one had dodge as well. That's what I was thinking. You know this 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 block has got dodge. So. If he if he if he if this guy didn't have tackle, blitzing him and then going down the sideline, wouldn't, I wouldn't have hit it. But yeah, with ta tackle, he wins that. Oh, that was a huge pal. Hmm. It lets him follow. But boy, that cage feels not very safe. There'd be a lot more pressure coming up. Yep. And a ball sack, maybe. Well, no strength ball. So the ball sack is going to be very difficult. But he has got Rackle. Is he just going to go uphill? Or he's going to I dodge he's to make it a one? He's not going to dodge. He's not going to go for it. He's got leap. He's got leap. So he's going to. He's going to. He doesn't even. He's going to leap to make it a one. Okay. Leaps in for the one. -er. Doesn't get the fifty percenter. Done a good job not to compromise his defense too much, though, on that second attempt. Yeah. So we needed a lot of pows <laughs> to make it. So that guy is powed. Now he could go through the thrower again. Much better option now without having to dodge. Having the yeah the dodge lineman on the back too. He's gonna foul. Wow. He's fouling very early in his turns. Yeah, he hasn't. There wasn't. There wasn't a get the ref, was there? That was wild. Hell of a player to get rid of, though. Mm. Oh, 
Where are you going? Where's the ball going? Oh, the ball's going. I'm strength four. Fuck you. <laughs> Got it. It's interesting strategy. I mean, I guess. I guess the the guard's a bit trapped Defending in here. Defending the ball is super. But not easy. especially. Oh my god, and he can chain. Oh, he can't chain out because of size step. <gasps> Do you think he thought he could chain him into this and then just 2D and then he got surprised by sidestep? Maybe. Mm. Maybe he just thought he could get him out and get some easy places to get assists and get a 1D. Because he has an easy 1D here. With mm. tackle. Use the last reroll? Oh, no, he'd already used the reroll. Oh, diced. Diced. Well, that looks it, doesn't it, now? Uh, he's gonna get another turn. He's gonna get one more shot, probably. But oh, there's a lot know. of birds who can just, with a push, can just run up and be the cage now. Yeah, this looks over. Don't say it's over. <laughs> but uh, just needs the push or even the boat down. Yeah, because of Russell. The Russell makes caging a bit more awkward. But again, strength four, so you know I can just go in and I cage and tell you to fuck off. And he's still got this guy as well. The edge fall can get down there. He can try it. Well, he can't really try to get off. He can try. He can't really try to get off either. But he's got the edge fall. No, the, yeah, the edge fall can get away. Yeah. Needed that dodge. Don't say it's over. I mean, this is hard. I mean, this is real hard, isn't it? For mm -hmm. Perry Wales. He might even dodge here just to. Uh, just so that you know, he'd be on the. They form another and... screen in the front of it, so yeah. No, I wouldn't have hated it. I wouldn't have hated to like put that blitzer on his ass. Because he's one of the few players that can reach the, <laughs> the ball at all. Hmm. Like obviously, standing in the way is good, but the guy he's standing in the way of is moving seven, and yeah, he's the one doing the blitz. So. Yeah, yeah it's not really clear. How oh. getting here? I'm not sure what the recovery option is either, because side stuff. No, it was just he was just oh, gonna try and base the ball. He was just trying to base the ball with blood step diamond tackle. Which you know, had he done the dodge, he would have. Uh, and if he if he'd done the diamond tackle, one, two, three, four, GFI, GFI, he just couldn't have done it. So yeah, I think that would that might have been the play to just to try and dodge away from the diamond tackle, just to put him out of range of basing the ball. Hmm. GG. A minor quibble. But yeah. He is taking blocks. It's uh, forcing diving tackle to work. It's not a very common strategy people think of. So, <laughs> yeah. not. No real yeah. criticism there. No. But yeah, I mean. Even on top of the mind is make my player, make my opponent's skills work. That so makes them worse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is very greedy, isn't it? Making these blocks. Like, you know, it's just for SPPs. It's not for, like, the second half or anything. It's just literally just for SPPs. But, um. No, he was leaving himself open to 1 in 12, 9, 6 chances, but did not roll them. Does win again. Unbelievable tachyon speed. What a run. What a run he's had with this team in this tournament. Incredible. Congratulations to Tachyon Speed. Commiserations to Perivale. Thank you very much, Squire L Dude, for joining us in the booth. What a run by the Bretts. Mmm. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.